Spencer Harp here with Sharp Engineering, and as promised, I was going to show you guys the uh, the new sprocket hub that we kind of came up with um, in comparison to your traditional, you know, go kart six bolt hub. It opens a lot of a lot of doors for different possibilities. Not only does it uh, reduce the weight by at least fifty percent of the hub itself, but it reduces the uh, rotating inertia um, by almost two hundred percent just because of the the volume on where it attaches relative to the center line of the axle. Um, the other cool feature with this design is it allows you to drop down two sprockets that's as small as 33 or maybe even smaller. You know, um, And right now we've got it configured to go 33 to 65. Uh, we were at Charlotte the other week. Uh, a couple of the guys were testing it. Um, and you know, just given the number of gears changes that we did during that day, this system is extremely fast um, and robust. Um, I'm just curious to why it hasn't hit the market sooner. Basically, right now we're producing everything out of 7075 aluminum. Um, we're producing gears 33 to 65 in a gear set. Any custom gear combination is available. Um, all of our mach all of our gears are a uh, are machined profile. Um, you know, we've talked to Nitro and some of the other manufacturers about going into production on compatible gears uh, with our hub system, um, and they're on board. Um, right now, uh, we kind of like our profile. You know. Uh, over the nitro stuff because the nitro gears are water jet so it kind of changes the contact angle um, on the gear but um, these are turned out really nice they're extremely lightweight in comparison to your traditional you know red gear and uh, just looking at the sheer amount of material that's been removed from the uh, from the red gear in comparison to you know our lightweight gears um, it's pretty substantial uh, they're comparable to what you find on a nitro uh, we run a little bit thicker webbing uh, in our support um, in the supporting areas of the of the hub but what you have here is a traditional hub with uh, bolts and stuff that hold it on it weighs roughly 322 grams um, and this is our quick change hub assembly uh, this assembly weighs roughly 150 grams and uh, all your weight's been reduced to being really close to the axle so it's going to aid you in acceleration um, and so forth. And what a lot of people don't understand uh, when you're talking about gearing and, and go-kart gearing specifically um, is that every time you change the driver, you're effectively altering uh, the clutch engagement profile um, for that particular clutch. It's a centrifugal clutch, but when you change the driver, you're increasing or decreasing the velocity of the chain, um, which has a direct correlation to efficiency and how hard it hits or bites coming off the corner. So on some of these smaller tracks uh, that we run, you know, running these 33 rear gears, which was impossible before because looking at the, uh, the your standard hub here compared to a 33 rear sprocket, um, you just, I mean, obviously they don't make 33 gears to go on this style hub. But running a 33 would allow us to get down on like an 11 uh, front driver on the clutch, which is going to give you a very positive engagement on a real heavy, small bullring style track. Uh, you'd be hard to beat, you know, just because of the reduction in inertia and, you know, the drive, uh, the forward drive coming off the corner because of clutch engagement profile. Um, but again, we, we run all the way up to your traditional sprocket sizes, all the way up to like 65 for now. Um, we do make 69 gears for your junior classes that are on gear rules, um, but uh, it's not part of this, this master assembly here. But uh, I'll switch over here in just a second and show you guys how this thing works. Bear with me. All right, so looking at the hub, assembly here um, we can do something as easy as put a uh, you know a 35 gear on it or 33 excuse me slides on this sleeve slides back over and then with one simple bolt you lock the gear in place and now that gear is in position and ready to go now to change it um, just as easy as backing that off sliding the two gear halves off grabbing your next gear putting it on you know, very hastily pass, pushing it over and locking down the set screw again. You can't take off six bolts on a traditional hub that fast. You can't even take the right rear wheel off that quick. And then if we needed to come in and do another gear change, same story, pull it off, slide it out of the way, grab your 65 gear or whatever gear you're shooting for. It goes on here, that slides back over and lock it back down again. And so Again, changing gears super fast. And the big thing is you're taking all that rotating mass that would normally be out here 
which is you know a pretty good ways, about two and a half inches away from the center line, and eliminating that. Um, so that's your biggest plus in the whole design, um, and it's just super easy to maintain. Now, if you couple this with a, a motor mount that's got toggle bolts on it, where you can just slide the motor back and forth, this would be the only tool that you would you know have to have to do a sprocket change. Um, again, opens up a ton of possibilities for different gear ratios and clutch driver combinations. Um, and we can even go as far as designing and making custom skip tooth gears or whatever you need uh, for the application. If you're running a high horsepower application where you think the lightning of our sprocket design is going to be a problem, we can put more, we can leave more material there or, or remove more material if, uh, if you want to try some stuff. Um, I would suggest you guys check out our website. I'll post a link in the bottom of the description. Um, Go to our store. It'll be under the hot new items. Um, check them out and tell me what you think.